Hi, my name is Laurent and today I want to make a little demonstration of Microx project and its basic usage. Before starting, I want to tell you a few words on what is Microx. The goal of Microx, short for Microservices Mox, is to provide a platform for referencing, deploying Mox and allow contract testing of API and microservices at scale. Scaling these practices is now very important because as service-based or microservice-based architectures are going mainstream, the number of API and services in the enterprise will explode and make the efficient delivery of battle-tested services a growing concern. Microx can also be considered as a service virtualization solution because it will allow you to provide fake API or service implementations before the development being actually finished. Thus, it allows different teams to work in parallel and then save time. Microx is an open source project. It is hosted on GitHub and it supports both REST API and SOAP web services. It perfectly integrates to an iterative contract first delivery process. Microx does not reinvent the wheel and lets you capitalize on already known tools. For example, it relies on external tools like SOAP UI or Postman to let you edit your API request response samples as well as your test scripts. Then it automatically provides mocks from the artifacts created with these tools and it is able to reuse the test scripts for contract testing your API. Microx can also be integrated into an automated CI CD pipeline as it offers API for easy integration as well as the Jenkins plugin. It also provides hooks and scheduled jobs for continuously enrich your mocks and tests. And as said before, it does that at scale, <coughs> supporting hundreds of mocks and tests on a single instance. Let's now start with the demonstration. Our use case uh, today will be to deliver to mock and test a simple e-commerce API. The first step in our delivery process is to design such an API with its contract following the Swagger or the Open API specification format. In order to do that, we can use different tools. And here I am using Epicurio, which is an open source studio for designing such API. So here's my newly defined test API on Epicurio. You can see that this API all domain objects like orders, for example, orders have status like items and like line items. This API also provides basic root operations like retrieving a, a list of orders, creating new order, but also retrieving an order using its ID or deleting an order from its ID. Once designed, the API may be saved into a GitHub repository from Happy Curio. That's what I've done here, saving uh, my Swagger file into the API folder. Now, the second step of our process is to use, uh, for example, Postman in order to complete the Swagger or the API specification with web live samples of our API as well as contract test. Postman is a popular tool for easily sending requests and you can uh, easily import your new API, API into Postman. That's what I have done here, and you can find the test API. And then I can start using the Postman interface to add samples and tests. For example, if you have a look at the get by ID operation, I have the ability to add samples where I can specify expected request and response as well. Here, on my first sample, I want to query the order having the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ID. And then I can specify that the, the API should return this response with the ID being a string. The second sample is for querying another order, that is the 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 order. And then I can specify that I'll get this response, but with ID being a number. This is a deliberate mistake. 
I can also specify contract test on this operation, for example, using this test thumb here in Postman. And then I can specify a script telling that the ID of the object being in response should uh, uh, match the specified ID, the global ID here, and should be a string. That is what this line here is telling. Keep that in mind for later. Finally, I can save everything and export all that stuff as a Postman collection artifact, and I can store this artifact into a GitHub account for versioning. That's what I have done here within the Mox folder. I can find my Postman collection for the test API. Okay, I need that later. So. Okay, now the later step of our delivery process will be to use Microx in order to integrate those smoke definitions. So here is a running instance of Microx. The first thing to do is to register a new job in Microx in order to reference the newly created Postman collection. Jobs are scheduled and periodically check the Git repository to see if you have added new samples or new tests within your collection. Jobs can also be triggered by webhooks so that new imports occurs just after your git commit. So here I need to add a new job. This is a job for my test API and I have to reference here the git URL of my Postman collection. Here it is. Check. So now I can activate my job so that it is scheduled and then I can force a new import to start right now. <coughs> Just have to refresh for now and you can see that my job I discovered new services, a new service that is my test API in version 1.0. Okay, what has done in Microx is passing the Postman collection to find basic information on my REST API, like the operations, but also information on the different samples and the different matching between a request. Here, for example, an empty body with the params specified within the URL and a response that will be returned by my API. Dynamically, Microx has also exposed new mocks for these operations so that they are just usable right now. Here is the mocks URL. So, for example, I can just copy this URL part here and I can just do a simple curl to test that my mock is up right now. So, here. And then I paste the URL part, okay, and ta-da, I get this mock result. I can check that changing parameters, like for example the, the status of the orders, has an impact, and then returns me another response. Okay, so basically I have ready to use mocks. On the micro side, we have kept traces of invocations and now I can see that I have invoked my mocks two times right now. Within the micro platform, we are able to reference hundreds of services within the enterprise, whether they are REST API, like the latest we've seen, or SOAP services, for example, like this one. We get the same kind of UI presenting you sample requests and associated sample response. Microx will be able to provide support for mocks and tests for both technologies. Okay, so let's go back to our test API. Another feature of Microx is related to tests. Remember we have defined contract tests on our test API 
and MyCox is able to reuse those tests to ensure that once your API implementation has been deployed on environments, it is compliant with the tests you defined previously. With MyCox, you can simply launch new tests for services where you can specify an endpoint. Here, this is a fake implementation endpoint. Okay, and you can also specify a test strategy. Here, I want to reuse my Postman tests through the Postman strategies. Okay, I can now, now launch tests and follow in real time the result of my test right here. For example, I can see that this test number one here on those endpoints here and here are the full results of my test. The first operation test was successful. I am able to load the full messages here so that I can actually see the data exchange with implementation during the test. The second operation test has failed because Try to remember, we have uh, intentionally introduced a mistake in our response sample. The ID returned uh, as a number, the ID return was a number and not a string as expected. So the valid ID exception is raised. We've got the failure message here. So basically, you are able to launch repeatedly different tests on different environments to keep that in history and then you'll get all the data exchange with the different endpoints cor corresponding to the, the system being, actu being actually under test. And here you get the history on the different tests on dif different environments. Before leaving you, just gonna finish on how it is possible to automate all that testing stuff. Indeed, it is really easy to automate tests with MicroX using its Jenkins plugin. That's what I see here. I can see my Samba's Jenkins job. This plugin is provided in two flavors. You can add a traditional build steps within your Jenkins job so that Jenkins will delegate to MicroX and retrieve the results to, to condition the global results of your build. But you can also uh, use uh, a DSL syntax okay uh, so that you may introduce into your uh, uh, build pipeline some steps that involves the execution of tests by microx so here i'm just launching new tests and get the results thanks a lot of your for your time and attention I hope this video has allowed you to have a clear vision on what is Microx and uh, the problems it can solve. Bye, have a nice day.